Hey everybody, it's me. Oh, there we go. Um, time for my weekly update. Um, Leo, I'm sorry, Leo's not gonna be in this video. He's actually in bed. Um, yeah, it's 8:30. He usually goes to bed around seven, so he's been in bed for a bit. But um, let me see. Okay, there's something I'm so excited to tell you guys, and that is that I can officially say. My husband is going to be home next month. I'm so excited. I waited 10 months to be able to say that, and I'm just so happy. He'll be home, and he has an exact date. Um, but yeah, I can't tell you the exact date, but he'll be home next month, and I'm so freaking excited. You guys don't even, you don't even know. Well, those who have been through a deployment or have had your husband gone for a year <laughs> know what I'm talking about. But um, I got welcome home banners um, I got one for him and then um, one for his platoon the one I got for him is two foot by four foot and then the one I got for his platoon is three foot by six foot and it's huge I should have probably got something a little smaller but I don't know I was over enthusiastic I guess. I'm trying to decide where I should hang it um, I don't know if I'm gonna hang it outside um, on our apartment building or um, they're like really strict about hanging them on base so we could hang them in the motor pool, um, and a motor pool is um, a certain, every army unit has a certain motor pool that they use to keep their vehicles in, and they store stuff there, so um, he'd only see it when he was putting his stuff in the motor pool, so I think i will probably put it, hang it outside the apartment building. I don't know, but I'm just so excited. Um, probably going to decorate the end of this month, so hurry up October and get over with already. I want November to be here so bad. And then um, after November's over, um, we're gonna be flying home December 10th. Um, we're gonna be in the States from December 10th through January 4th, so that's exciting. Um, we haven't got to spend Christmas, well, I, I spent Christmas at home last year, but like as a family, we haven't got to spend Christmas in the States like with all of our family since 2006. So we're excited about that. Um, let me see what else. Leo's getting so big. Um, he learned how to give high fives. Um, and it's just so cute. Um, he just gets this cute look on his face when I say, yay, you did it. Like, he, he thinks he's just, like, so badass. Because <laughs> he can give high fives. That's hilarious. But he's learning new stuff every day. And he's about, he's starting to try to crawl. He gets up on his hands and knees and he rocks. And um, he can scoot on the floor. He can wiggle all over. Yeah, like I'm looking at my house right now and there are toys from one end of the living room to the other. He gets them all over the place. So, yeah, so anyway, he's getting um, really big. Um, with the hives, um, his hives went away after a couple days after the shots. And um, he still has a knot, though. I don't know, maybe some of you guys can help me out with this, but like, he got two shots in his right thigh and one shot in his left thigh. And the shot where he got his shot in his left thigh, there's like still a knot there. And it's been a week and a half. So I'm wondering, is that normal? I called like the nurse line like on Tuesday after I've been there for a week. And um, she told me to put like warm compresses on it and stuff. But she actually like it wasn't a real big deal, which, you know, he doesn't have a fever or anything. But there's like a big knot where he got a shot. And I just wish it would go away. It's been a week and a half like I said so anyway but yeah besides that um Leo's doing well um he's in 12 month clothes now and I'm like I'm so horrible I every time I go to the store I like buy him an outfit I know that's bad but um RPX gets new outfits for babies every Tuesday and so um they have like they get Carter's clothes, a lot of Carter's clothes, and they have like the Carter's outfits that have like a pair of pants and then like um, two body suits, you know? And so I get him one of those every week and I've been doing it for several months now. So he has so many clothes. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't realize it until I went in his room today to organize stuff and there was like 14 of those Carter's pant, um, outfits with like the two onesies and I'm like I better probably chill out now 
So he's well stocked for winter. And hopefully we have, when we have another baby, well, I want a girl, but I'm hoping it's a boy because I have all these clothes and we've spent hundreds of dollars on them. And so I want to be able to use them at least one more time. So yeah, anyway, not much more exciting. Um, I have midterms this week, so I've been studying my butt off. Um, and I'm a little worried about um, my grade in macroeconomics, but I'll pass. I just I think I'm probably going to get a C, and that's not as well as I would like to do. But um, yeah, school's good. Weight loss is good. Um, I'm down 29.2 pounds. I still have about 15 more I want to lose before Travis gets home, but I'm starting to plateau. So I think I'll probably only end up losing probably seven or eight more before I get home, but that's still good. That will put me at, um, you know, over 35 pounds um, since I moved back to Germany. So that's good. So anyway, that's about it. That's my update. Um, I will upload um, the video of Leo giving high fives that he learned a couple days ago. So look out for that. Um, thank y'all for watching. Thanks to the new subscribers. You guys are awesome. Um, I love y'all and I'll see you next week. Bye.